few hours left to purchase tickets for tonight's $415 million Powerball drawing. It's the largest since January's $1.6 billion jackpot. And there were three tickets, winning tickets for that drawing. The winning numbers will be drawn tonight just before 11 o'clock. Now, in case you're wondering, the odds of winning are about one in more than 292 million. You can always find the winning numbers at our website at mynews13.com slash lotto. The National Kidney Foundation hosted its fifth annual Footprints in the Sand Walk along Cocoa Beach Saturday morning. News 13's Caitlin Wilson spoke to organizers and participants working to help fight kidney disease. More than 500 people walked along Cocoa Beach Saturday morning, helping to raise awareness for kidney disease. Both donor recipients and donors were at the walk, many of them returning each year since it began. We can all come out to the beach and we can we take communion and we can share our stories with each other and it's a healing process. Founders of the Footprints in the Sand Walk have also been working closely on the Living Donor Protection Act, a bill that would work to protect living donors from financial burden and aggressive insurance companies. There's so much love that's shared with everybody uh, on either side. And I'm talking organ donors to recipients, which is a very trust tough trial because we have one person that's giving it up their life and another person that's gaining a life, but you find a common bond. Just last year, the foundation saw a record number of donor transplants coming in just over 30,000. Their hope this year is to take away the stigma around donating. Co-founder Phil Salek tells us many people don't sign up as organ donors because they're afraid of surgery, but he's hoping to put those concerns to rest. A lot of people might be fear of surgery, a lot of people when we do our blood work, we're afraid of that. But once you're gone, you're not really gone. If you heard here before, it lives on. Organizers hope to see the event grow and continue to provide hope for those affected by the disease. Reporting in Cocoa Beach, Caitlin Wilson, News 13.